<clears throat> so this is uh, my breakfast. A little bit late. Half past seven. And my array starts at uh, ten. And I will have some of these uh, my jewel dates. Uh, I will take out the stones and I uh, will uh, pack them in uh, small bags and then I will be able to uh, get them on my bike ride uh, quite easily. So let's let's see how it goes. My only problem is that I need to uh, get on the toilet before uh, the race starts, and uh, I'm not sure how many toilets there are on the route, but uh, I may have some toilet paper with me. But uh, I need to have a quite um, fast pace, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite windy and a bit rainy, and it's uh, below 10 degrees uh, here in Denmark, so. Uh, it will be a challenging one this time. 133 kilometers. Let's see how it goes. So when you enter the race in Aarhus, you get an energy bar from SIS or SIS. And this one is a blueberry flavor. And the contents are fruit juices from concentrate, 36%, grape pineapple. Cereal, 21%, rice and soy crisp, rice flour, soy protein, isolate, oat flour, salt, vegetable oil, gluten, oats, maltodextrin from maize, dried fruit, 12% from the dates, soy protein, uh, isolate, emulsion, Emulsifier, emulsifier um, is a soil lecithin, um, freeze dried fruits, 3% is blueberry and black currant, and you also have some uh, humic humectant, a calcium lactate. Hmm, calcium lactate. Calcium lactate, what's that? Um, flavoring elderberry juice powder contains gluten, soy may contain pips and stones, suitable for vegetarians stored in a cool, dry place. And we have um, energy per 100 grams is 347 calories, um, quite high amount of fat, 5.3 compared to. Only, uh, is that okay? Is it actually okay? It's, we have 63 grams of protein, so it's uh, not too much fat, I guess. And 12 grams of protein. It's a high, very high in protein compared to what it should be. But it's yeah, you could. I just need to figure out what calcium lactate is. So the calcium lactate is actually. Uh, is a black or white crystalline salt made by the action of lactic, lactic acid and calcium carbonate. So it's actually a salt produced um, chemically. So um, this is, uh, even though the lactic acid can be found on young cheeses, so it's uh, from the dairy industry, It's but it, this is sh should be produced um, chemically. Um, so it's uh, it's good for vegans. So I'm preparing two bags of these days without stones, which I have in my mouth, some of them, and I I, I want to have two bags of 200, about 250 grams. So I have a half of kilo of grams. So I have um, 100 grams for five hours of uh, riding. So um, 100 grams of uh, Medjool days will be about 75 grams of carbohydrates, and my current weight is about 75 kilograms. So that's that should be good. So this is uh, my race bike. I have my tools in the backpack. So uh, that's good. It's quite cold, so I'm uh, I'm fully in uh, at my bit of uh, hat here. And I have a lot of clothes. I have my rain trousers, so it's going to rain a bit. But it's uh, it's quite cold. It's nasty. Only six hours of sleep because I was uh, at a 
work party yesterday. So there was uh, some gourmet vegan food, so it's nasty. But I hope that the days this morning is uh, can uh, re I can recover anyway. So let's try the 133. See what happens. So uh, I'm back. Um, I survived. So that's that's good. Um, I completed the race, but um, I didn't finish in in time. So uh, my time was not registered. But I will upload my uh, my uh, my results, so all you can see how slow I was. It was an uh, insane ride uh, with lo lots of wind and uh, lots of pros <laughs> or quite good guys on on the bikes. And, but I'm, I only have seven gears on, on this bike, so but if I had eight, I would have aced it, I'm sure. Um, this one was uh, in the beginning of the race, I had it here. I lost it two times on the road, needed to fetch it uh, again. Uh, after the second time, I decided to move it uh, up uh, with the bags up here, so it w wouldn't fall off uh, anymore. And at the depot at 65 kilometers, I... Uh, I got a help to to uh, get this uh, tight tied here because otherwise it would go into the wheel. So that's that was not so good. And uh, but otherwise uh, the bike held up. So so that's very good. So just to uh, recap, um, the first depot was uh, on 65 kilometers, and it was the only depot. Uh, I was told that I only need one liter, liter of water, and uh, <laughs> but it was not quite enough. Um, but and I actually thought that would be more depots out there. Um, on the last, after the, the the depot at 65, I could actually it was okay with one liter for the last uh, the last part of the the ride, but. It depends much on the weather, so I wouldn't just have one liter in, in the future. So that's uh, yeah, that's just insane. So it was very windy. Um, I, very quickly, I was alone on the road, so uh, I didn't have anyone to ride behind. So uh, it was uh, it was a, a quite a good challenge, um, and also the there were some insane climbs. Uh, they could have asked me just to go up a straight wall or something instead or jump in a lake full of uh, pirate fish um, so this is uh, this was crazy the hardest 134 kilometers in my life uh, so uh, yeah I uh, yeah if I want to hurt myself again someday I will try it again maybe on a different bike or or something so but it was uh, there was some sun, <laughs> um, a bit of rain, but yeah, and I had too much clothes on actually at the beginning, so I dropped my rain trousers. So I only have these uh, sexy pants, um, and I also lost my my jacket um, at the time because it was just too warm. Yeah, that's just about it. So I also tried the Sis Energy Bar and it was actually surprisingly good. So uh, yeah, tasty and uh, probably full of energy. So I also ate, um, besides the Energy Bar, I almost finished one of the bags with 250 grams of dates. Um, but the other bike I didn't finish, and um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's difficult to eat on the go, but uh, I also ate some bananas at the depot instead. They weren't ripe, but uh, they were actually okay to eat, so that was fine too. So uh, at, at one point, I ate too many dates at once. And the, the, my stomach didn't like that, so you need to be careful not to eat um, too too many of the dates uh, at once. But otherwise, it was actually good. I my my stomach uh, had a good time all the all the way, and I didn't need to go to the 
to the toilet. I only need, needed to urinate um, two times or something. So um, that's good. So these water bottles, I had them in the, the back of my bike also. Um, I lost one of the bottles two times. So um, I needed to secure them a bit more. I, I think in the future I will need to have some bottle holders on my bike if I want to ride like that because uh, we don't have time to pick up bottles on the, on the road so yeah not so good am I the only one with the illegal bike at always want with a bell on my bike um, I actually bought this because uh, it stated on the website that you needed a, a legal bike for uh, to attend the race so uh, okay so uh, does everybody else have a fell on their bikes?